guys, welcome to Freedom in a Budget. It is cash envelope time because we are halfway through March. I almost said February, but no, we are in March and it is halfway through. So that is time to stuff our cash envelopes, which I'm so excited about. And it's actually been a really good month. I've had stayed on track. I have done really well with the cash. So I, I absolutely love this system. I've been doing this for years now, guys. I think it's like two and a half, three years now. So love it. So I have a little bit left over in my grocery budget. I'm having some tabs sent to me, but they haven't gotten here yet. So let's see what I have left over. I have 20, 40, 60, 70, one, two. So I have $72 left in grocery. So we are going to add $100 to that. So I get $200 a month for groceries. So 20, 40, 60, 81. So we're going to add that right to grocery. So I have 172 left over for the month. I've only gone the grocery store one time so far. All right, next is eating out. And in here I have $25. I haven't spent anything. So to eating out, I am going to add 50. So I have $50 here. We're just gonna add that right to eating out, but I need to fix it to make sure my bills are all in order. So I have 20, 40, $55. Oh, I'm sorry, that was wrong. We are adding $25. I was like, that does not sound right. All right, take that back. So we had, in the real guys, we had $25 in there and we are adding another 25 to make it 50. So let's try this again. We have 20, 40, 45, $50 for eating out. This is just me, just my personal, not Jamie's. Then we have miscellaneous. And in here I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32 dollars. And we are going to add 50 for a total of 100. So let's get this all squared away and in the right order. Because they all have to be going the same way. Okay, so I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, one, two, 82 dollars. And that goes into miscellaneous or pocket money for a hundred dollars for the month. So guys, that's all it is. Easy peasy, stuffing my cash envelopes. It really helps me stay in track. I've learned so much that when you are paying with cash, when you are handing over cold hard bills, it really makes you think twice about your purchase rather than swiping a card, especially with groceries. So many people overspend it with groceries. And if I go in there and this is all I have to spend with groceries, I leave my debit card at home and it comes to more than this, then I have to put stuff away. And you know what? It's okay. It happens. You have to put stuff away and it's so much better than just saying, oh, it's okay. We can go a couple dollars over this time. And the next time comes, oh, $10 over it. It's fine. It's fine, guys. No worries. It's fine. No, it's not. Put stuff away. You can you can put stuff away. So that is my cash envelope. Let me know if you guys um, use the cash envelope system. This is the Savvy Sense wallet that I absolutely love. I have a link down below in the description box. I've had this wallet for over two years now, and it is still in great condition. So guys, let me know. They have all sorts of patterns. Absolutely love it. Let me know, guys, if you use cash envelopes, what your categories are. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.